whom it may concern, I am entrusting you to take care of my dear Ophelia. It brings me great pain to admit the unfortunate circumstances of the present moment, but I am no longer able to take care of her in the way I know she needs. Please keep her safe, and most importantly, keep her happy. She is a lonesome soul, and I know she will need consistent companionship, or else she will get upset. And believe me, when I heed you this warning, in utmost earnest, you do not want to upset her. Dear Scories, welcome to the manor. I hope you enjoy your stay while you're here. I'm so excited to have you as my esteemed guests. As my goal is for you guys to have an enjoyable experience. However, there are a few rules that you need to abide by in order to make sure you have the best and safest stay possible. Like All the windows have to be closed at sunset. Yeah. No swimming in the pool after 7.30 p.m. Mm -hmm. Absolutely no music at all in the house. Is it to maintain the aesthetic quality of the house? We can't tarnish the visual appearance by eating any other foods besides black or white food. Before enjoying your stay, please make sure to complete the tour list so that we can be ready for your experience. While you're staying in the manor, you will find that we have provided custom outfits in each of the bedrooms to match the aesthetic standards we hold for the home. We hope you will find them suitable. Please only wear the provided outfits during the entirety of your stay. And above all, the number one rule that must never be broken under any circumstances. Do not enter the guest house. Dollmaker returns this fall. I think this was like a warning of some sort, like to prepare us that he's coming back. What do we do? I don't think there's anything we can do. I came back here to send you all a warning. You dolls will be here before the morning. The Dollmaker has had a year to prepare. 2.0 is here to scare. Water won't work this time around if you're trying to keep from having a frown. Because last year you were all so sweet, this year I've decided to come and share a treat. These dolls are high tech, nothing can top them. The doll army is coming and it's up to you to stop them. To whomever it may concern, if you've followed me this far, then that means you're trying to stop the doll maker. Have no fear, I am alive and well. I had to create this decoy so nobody would know where to find me, but I'm glad that you did. Dear Scories, you thought your troubles were over with the doll maker. <gasps> you thought you finally put a stop to him, but in reality, you're far from doing so. I hate to tell you this, but your Christmas is about to get a whole lot creepier. I want you to trust me and I'm on your side, but you have to promise I'm not the bad guy. I'm Wells, and I'm the doll maker's granddaughter. We used to make dolls all the time together when I was young, and I left for school, and he's always been really, really nice from what I remember. I feel like I'm the one that knows the most. He used to be so nice, and I think since we left, our whole family has been kind of dispersed, and now it's, now I guess he's just lost his mind. Kim Possible who? So you guys, probably have been wondering where we've been. Day one was the start of it all. We heard something very suspicious. Day two was the first day that we officially saw it in our studio. On the third day, we were filming TikToks and we realized something really weird. Honestly, we were just starting to get like super freaked out. And we still haven't seen or heard from Quinn, which has made us all the more suspicious. If only we had known what this week was gonna end with. Day six, someone broke into the studio. Did you guys have anybody who's out to get you? Her name was Winnie. Yeah. We kind of thought she was our friend, but then she kind of wasn't. It says Anna Wells, but it says Company Shine. My name is Zeke. I was sent here by Hannah. Apparently I owe her a favor, and apparently that favor involves helping you guys out. There's a and the siren, Shine are both attempting to find it. Well, now you're gonna have to deal with the artist core. With this particular core, there is only one rule you must follow. Do 
not look at the painting. A new one? A what? What do you mean a new core? Siren equals bad guys. Shine equals good guys. This is really bad because we already had to defeat four cores in the past and we barely made it out alive. The story about Mrs. Cubbett who went out, bought herself a nice new painting, she put it up at home, and then shortly after she, she went crazy. Two of the scories from Q and your friends at Siren. We'll be back for the core. Siren is after us. It's not just Lynn. We have more than one person after us now. And cores are super powerful. So imagine what's gonna happen when a whole organization gets their hands on it. Mrs. Cubbett's journal talked about the painting taking on the form of whoever was the first person to look at it. When we last left off, Quinn was calling us and she's our ex-best friend. We don't think that this is from. Disrespected my order to avoid the forbidden hallway. You have all been bad children. And now, because of your disobedience, the seven dolls I have been tasked to protect are running free. Each of the dolls has its one unique power. To recollect a doll, you must defeat it in order to defeat it. Otherwise, their powers will be too strong. I will only forgive you when you have completed your job of collecting each doll by defeating them and returning them to their proper. Through 
knew something in the blog that she would be here soon. That was it. That's all she said before it disappeared again. And I beat Annie. Says you have been invited in loving memory to the doll maker's funeral. Granddaughter. We used to make dolls all the time together when I was young and I left for school. He, he's always been really, really nice from what I can remember. I feel like I'm the one that knows him most. He used to be so nice that I think since we left, our whole family has been kind of dispersed and now it's... Now I guess he's just lost his mind. <laughs> 